James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is June 26, 2023, 4.30 p.m. Central here. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our magnetosphere cut planes. In this model of Earth is the small white and black ball. In the middle, the gray area is our atmosphere. And we can see there's enormous pressure on the night side of our atmosphere. In this model, Earth's moving at you, being pulled by the sun at about 544,000 miles an hour, and to the left, orbiting the sun at about 67,000 miles an hour, according to mainstream science. We're going to go ahead and jump over to real-time space weather, discover and show you what a freak show this is. Now, Earlier, we saw a bow shock, and we have had some plasma hit just now. We've had some heavy plasma come in right under about 20 centimeters cube, as you can see here, 19.52. What would cause that to happen for such a short period of time, only to drop off to 1.2 centimeters cubed here, which makes absolutely no sense. These step ups and step downs. This is considered space weather, anything over 10 centimeters cubed, only to drop off to 0.69 a second later. It makes no sense. Here, we see that solar winds are inversely related to plasma as they're supposed to be. But then when we get to here, they're moving together. You can see that the solar winds increase. And we've seen solar wind speeds increase up to almost 600 kilometers per second with no crawl holes on the entire face of the sun here's another 619 here as plasma builds up to 20 you can see solar winds increasing here's a 580 and you can see the temperatures moving with both of them here the temperature seems to be moving more with the plasma as you can see that step up with the orange plasma and then the temperatures dropping and then this is strange plasma steps back up so the winds go down and the temperature drops. So which one is it following? I've never seen such a mess in all my life. There's indications of no space weather events whatsoever. Well, what is 20 centimeters cubed of plasma and 600 kilometer per second solar winds? And why is the pressure on the back side of both of our cut plane magnetospheres? This is absolutely baffling to me. If anyone has any ideas except for a secondary source of energy, may it be a rogue planet, may it be uh, the geomagnetic connection we just made with Saturn, which I don't see as a possibility, may it be, well, a rogue star, a binary star, maybe something that's infrared or ultraviolet that would be unseeable to the human eye. We know it's not very close because the tides would be misbehaving, and they're not. But what is causing these big step-ups and step-downs in solar wind, and how can we generate 620 km per second solar winds with no earth-phasing crawl hole for days? Ladies and gentlemen, this is another freak show by NASA. It says Discover, and... You would think that this would be a space weather incident here. Solar winds at 550 to 600, plasma at 20 centimeters cubed. What do we see? Planetary K index maxed out at 3, according to NASA and NOAA on their brand new updated KP index. Hmm. One more thing I'd like to show you here. Now, we just saw several instances of solar wind activity that would constitute a geomagnetic disturbance. And then we just saw that plasma peak out at 20 centimeters cubed that would cause a geomagnetic storm. Why is that only being reported on the College Index? Not the Boulder, not the Fredericksburg, or NASA and NOAA's Estimated Planetary Index. It seems the only truth ever given is from the college KP index. I'm going to have to look into that and find out more about it. Any ideas on what's going on would be greatly appreciated in the comments. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.